So here's what we're making in this video today. It's the Tall Wallet by Nicole at Sonar. Isn't it pretty? It's cork. It's gorgeous. Lots and lots of room for all kinds of cards and it's just really, really cute. There it is. Go get the pattern and let's get going. Hi everyone, this is Barbie with Jeannie's Designs. Thanks for joining me today. I am gonna make something very simple. I'm gonna make the Tall Wallet by Nicole at Sonar. It is a very quick sew. Um, and I have two that I just finished making this one, just to remind myself. I have not edge painted it yet, but I will. And then this one I have edge painted. I mean, it's got a little zipper pocket on the back. It is a raw inside. That's all you need. Zipper pocket. It's just really for a couple coins and a key. And then on the inside, you have um, six credit card slots, four credit card slots, an ID window, and two slip pockets. And I have made all of mine out of cork. I haven't used cork in a while, so I thought, mm, I'll just do cork. So what I'm using today is this gorgeous um, kind of rainbow black speckled for the outside and my credit card pieces. So I do have um, double side tape on my credit card slots and uh, on my ID window. I just need to add them on my card slots. And then the outside um, for my zipper pocket and then this is my lining. This is, if you remember, not too long ago in my live, I had a uh, mail opening from Louise at Sam Fabric Creation. This is one of the ones she sent me. So cute. And then I'm using black zipper tape with number three. Yeah, the dreaded number three with a zipper pull. And that's it. Oh, and a little piece of clear plastic and a hole in it uh, for your ID window. That's it. That's all you need. Oh, I guess you need some uh, fabric for your card slots. This is landscaping fabric. I sell it on my website. All right, let's do it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add my zipper here and I want it closing to the left. Closing to the left, opening to the right. So I'm just gonna take my tape off and I'm gonna put it in as even as I can. You could use number five zipper tape. It just gets a little bulky, but you certainly could. I'm not sure if I have or not. I've always used number three, but I am running out of number three zipper tape because I'm not really buying anymore. All right, so that's all it is. Now I'm gonna sew around that box and I'm using black thread. I know it's pretty exciting, isn't it? gonna sew around the box and since it's black on black I'm just gonna back stitch zipper off. You don't want your zipper tape in your side seam, so get it pretty close there. Burn the end of your zipper tape so it doesn't fray. Okay. My little cart got all askew. So there's your little zipper. Isn't that cute? 
Now, I am going to go ahead and put my um, magnetic snap on. I'm using a rivet magnetic snap. And I am going to add a little extra. So because when we do this, that's how it's going to go and the flap's going to come over. So let me go press that. Okay, so I pressed my female portion there and my male portion on my flap. And all this is, is two pieces, wrong sides together, and I stitched around it. She gives you several options for this. And I put my snap there. And then on the pattern piece, she tells you exactly where to put it. And we're putting it up here by the zipper tape. And I just usually put a piece of tape there. You don't want to sew it. because, um, hold on. So on your uh, tab that you have your uh, magnetic snap on and the other side of the magnetic snap is here. So you want it to end up like this. So you want to add it between your two marks. Let's let me mark it again because it disappeared. Let me see. And I just put a piece of double sided tape there because we don't want to sew that until we get the whole thing together. So it's with the magnetic snap piece up, you're just putting it on there about a quarter of an inch centered on your mark so that when you go to close it, it'll close appropriately. I know it's all black, it's hard to see. All right, let's do our ID window. And I'm just adding double side tape below each card slot. You don't need a huge piece. I probably am using way too much actually. And then I put a piece on the top here. So we'll take our ID clear window pieces off and we'll add our clear vinyl. And I did put a hole in there. The one thing with this vinyl, you just want to make sure you get it on there where you want it because once you get it on, it gets very sticky and it's very hard to move. So there you go. You got it. Now we're going to sew all the way around that. And because I'm using black on black, I'm just going to back stitch. Then we will add the backing. There, so there's a the fabric backing. Okay. So there's your clear window. Now we're gonna add the fabric backing. And my piece is way too big. So let's just trim it up a little. Still too big. 
she gives you the measurements for it, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna add just a couple more pieces of tape. This doesn't actually get sewn on. It will a little bit with the um, final sew. Before you do anything else, though, before you add this, you want to stitch, do a faux row of stitching under this first card slot. Because that isn't really a card slot, it's the ID window. Access. So take the tape off under that, and we're gonna, oops, nope, that's okay. Take the tape off these three sides. So look at that, isn't that cute? So that's what that's gonna look like. I am gonna trim this just a little. It's a still, was it just a little too wide? Use her measurement and you'll be golden. There we go. Okay. Isn't that cute? It's so cute. All right, now take your card slot fabric. And we're gonna lay our card slot fabric under that second card slot and we're gonna lay it down, going down. Okay, yep. Turn it over and stitch under the second card slot. use a card so I know where to fold um, my fabric okay so up where you want it and just fold that up and that way you can test it Here's your ID window, and there is your first card slot. Perfect. Now, with the card slot fabric going up, we're gonna stitch under the third card slot. And test these as you go. I highly recommend that you test them as you go. Nothing worse than getting done and your card slots don't work. Mm -hmm. Okay, same thing here. Put your card right up under that second, that next card slot. Fold your fabric up. Take your tape off and fold it going up. So now you have your ID window. And your second card slot, and your third. Perfect. Okay. Again, 
hold it up. She gives you a template if you'd rather use the template. That works too. So under that next car slot. Mm -hmm. do the same thing but there's no sewing pull that down put your card where you want it and fold that up and then we're going to fold it up to that other piece of tape it'll get sewn when you um, put your bag together there you go all right trim off any excess, you don't want it showing here. So if you have any showing, just trim it off. Perfect. All right, next step. All right, let's repeat that with these card slots. Take the bottom card slot off. And I did put my tag right there. You can put it on the back or the front, whatever works for you. And pull that down. And we're going to stitch underneath that first card slot. My tape is in my way. Trying to see where my cards are. Use your card or your template, whatever works for you. Put that under your next card slot. Fold that up, take off your tape, and fold that up. I see a little bit of my fabric there. I was like, what is that? If you do see that, just trim it off. You don't need to see any of your lining fabric. Your um, ID window, or not ID window. Your, um, I got it a little too close to my card slot. So it was shining through. <laughs> All right, let's do that again. Turn it over and stitch under the next card slot. Okay. Test your card slots. So I have one. All right. Let's do fold that down, put it under the next card slot, fold it up, and just repeat that until you get to the top.
test it. Perfect. We'll do your next one. Run that so you can't see it on the other side. I'm gonna go close the door. Now let's test car slots before we do anything. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Now what I like to do because these can get just stay up like that is just put a piece of double side tape there and leave the tape uh, on, the paper on. That just keeps, any anything you use, it just keeps it nice and flat. So I did that on both of these, All right? Let me go close the door. So for these, we are going to um, put a little bit of glue or just around the edges. Don't get it in your card slots. I suppose you could use tape. And then you're pushing those wrong sides together. And I like to start at these little corners. And then clip them. The one thing about glue, it really, it gives you this three in one, it gives you a little wiggle room if you don't get things just right. Initially, you can kind of manipulate it to get it the way you want it.
And same with this one. Start at your corners. and let that glue uh, set up for a little bit. And when that sets up, we're gonna stitch across the folded edge on both, therefore creating the um, slip pocket. Next so I'm adding my lining piece and I on um, here's my zipper. You don't want to put any glue or tape under here for the lining. Uh, but on this side, I am putting a couple pieces of double-sided tape just to keep that in place. Nice and even. across our folded edge here. Then I come up that um, angle. So just the folded edge, and I did come up here, over, and back down. So I'm going to repeat that with this piece. Okay, so that's created both your folded edges. I love it. Now we're going to take this, and here is our wallet. So you're going to, it ends up being folded like this and snapped. So you want the um, slip pocket to be on the inside. So I am just going to line those up nice and straight, one at a time. Line them up on your corners. And on your edges. Okay, so there's one. 
And let's repeat that with this one. You just want to make sure your card slots are all going in the same direction and that your slip pockets are on the inside. <clears throat> Might be better to use wonder clips here. Mm -hmm. So it's going to go like this and snap. We will trim off any of the excess once we get it done. Um, and then we will edge paint. So as I stitch, I'm going to back stitch over these edges on both sides to give that a little extra uh, stability. Okay, let's do it. your zipper pull is out of your way. Alright, it went off the rail there just a little bit, so I'm going to fix that. It's okay. If that if that happens it's because mainly for me it's because I'm going too fast I don't take the time to go slow and keep it on track at least that's my story side and actually I'm just going to take all this out. The good thing is cork is a little forgiving uh, much more so than a leather or a vinyl. Okay. Whoops. Just 
so it doesn't hurt to go over this flap more than once so it wasn't necessarily a bad thing okay perfect now the last thing we're gonna do so where our zipper pocket is on this side we are gonna do a stitch right outside of our slip pocket and that's just kind of sealing that off so the zipper pocket doesn't go the whole way and you don't lose things It's really your choice whether you um, want to edge coat or not. I'm just using some scissors, some really sharp scissors to trim. You could use your rotary cutter. I don't have good luck with using my rotor cutter for this. It's too thick. These scissors are ultra sharp. So all right, let's see what it looks like from this side. Pretty good. What's that right there? There's a little bit showing here. Don't over trim. I have a tendency to do that. Right. That's it. And there is your wallet. So here's our little zipper pocket. And two slip pockets, four credit card slots, an ID window, six credit card slots. Let's test them. So our ID window, card slot, card slot, card slot. Perfect. Perfect. And there you have your tall wallet. Isn't that cute? Very lightweight, very lightweight. Very, very cute. That's it. Isn't that fabric pretty? So here's the tall wallet by Sonar, Nicole at Sonar. Very quick pattern. Um, this one is made out of cork. I, in fact, all the ones I've done, I've made out of cork. It's a great cork pattern. 
You have six credit card slots on this side, four and an ID window. You have two big slip pockets. And then on the back, you have a zipper pocket for keys or coins, or whatever. Very cute. Now you can edge paint it or you can leave it raw. I probably will edge paint this one black. Um, isn't it pretty? Isn't that cork pretty? Very colorful. The tall wallet. Go get it, the pattern and let's get started.